Chapter 16 The Divine and Demoniac Natures The dog is an unpredictable animal. Though widely acclaimed as man's best friend, the dog also has a reputation for brutal, unprovoked attacks. Such contradictory behavior is a sign of our times. In previous ages, the distinction between the divine and demoniac people was very clear. They lived at a distance from each other and rarely mixed. In modern times, however, the dividing line has disappeared to the extent that the divine and demoniac coexist within the same individual. In chapter 16, Krishna describes the qualities of saintly persons and the weaknesses of the demoniac, systematically exposing attitudes and behaviors that destroy one's spirituality. Dambho darpo bhimanascha krodha parusham evacha agyanam chabhijatasya partha sampadamasurim pride, arrogance, conceit, anger, harshness and ignorance. These qualities belong to those of demoniac nature, O son of Partha. The acronym for this chapter is DOG. D for divine or demoniac, O for opinions and outlook of demons, G for gates to hell. Verses 1 to 6 cover divine or demoniac, D. On the tree of material world, divine qualities are said to elevate us, whereas demoniac qualities result in degradation. These are the result of nature and nurture. While we undoubtedly carry impressions from previous lives, our willpower, determination and activities in this life can significantly alter that nature. Krishna describes 26 divine qualities and 6 major demoniac qualities. Verses 7 to 20 is opinions and outlook of demons. Oh, to reassure Arjuna that he is of divine nature, Krishna distinguishes the activities, mentality and qualities of one who has demoniac propensities. Such miscreants are cast into repeated births in undeveloped lower species of life. While this may sound like the harsh and judgmental God of dogmatic religion, Krishna explains how such treatment is the most progressive course of action to gradually uplift such individuals. Demoniac philosophy, demoniac mentality, demoniac activities generate immeasurable anxiety for the individual and cause great disruption in the wider society. It is a case of hate the disease, not the diseased. Verses 21 to 24 cover the theme of gates to hell. G. Krishna warns that lust, anger and greed are the three root qualities that lead one to hell. Such hellish planets are not eternal prisons for the errant soul, but places of reformation where stern lessons help one to realign their vision for one who wants to avoid such shock treatment, the scriptures act as a guidebook for gradual purification and ultimate perfection. They recommend a regulated lifestyle by which one can easily transform selfishness to selflessness, lust to love, and quarrel into cooperation. Tasmat Shastram Pramanam Te Karya Karya Vrasthitav Jyatva Shastra Vidhanoktam Karma Kartum Iharhasi One should therefore understand what is duty and what is not duty by the regulations of the scriptures. Knowing such rules and regulations, one should act so that he may gradually be elevated.